Hello guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to create many graphics out of one CSV file. Let's start. At first we have to install Inkscape. I'm heading to inkscape.org, click on download and here we see the GNU Linux section. And I'm taking the personal package archive for Ubuntu. The app image doesn't work in this case. So I'm opening a terminal and pasting all these commands in here. At first we add the personal package archive. After that we have to update our system if it doesn't automatically. And in the end we install the Inkscape version or update it. Perfect! After Inkscape is installed let us open our Inkscape. Here we see a quick setup. I don't need anything of the quick setup. In my case I only click save. Thanks. And now you can create a new document. Head up to the document properties and define the size of your images. In my case it will be video HD 1080 pixels. Perfect. I select the horizontal orientation and now we have our picture here. You can insert PNG files or design your own SVG image base. In my case I will keep this very simple. I create an orange rectangle which simulates my image here. I'm just saving this one in my pictures folder. Perfect. Now let's head over to our CSV table. Here I have my .csv file. I open it with LibreOffice Calc and import it. In my case this table has many many columns but I don't want to use them all. I only want to use some of these which are user first name, user last name. So I select these three columns here and select delete columns. In the end I have the user first name, the user last name, the company of the user and the title of the lecture. So at the second step we have to remove all special signs out of the column's titles. So instead of lecture title I go in with title. Here I select company, last name and first name. These ones should be also unique. In the end I save it as a new file. Make sure that the CSV is selected here and edit filter settings is also selected. I hit use text CSV format and here we can see now the different delimiters. I pick the field delimiter here as a comma, the string delimiter, parenthesis is also ok and save cell content as shown is correct for me. Make sure these four settings are equal and select ok. Now let us open our modified CSV file with a text editor. In my case this looks very good. But I want the first name and last name to be a single value. So I merge these columns to name and remove the first comma here. Now this looks good for me. I save this one and now our CSV file is prepared. Let us prepare our Inkscape. I head over to extensions, manage extensions, install packages and search for next generator. Here we have our next generator replace and export. I select this one and select install package. Perfect. Now our next generator is installed and active. I can close the extensions menu. There comes an error message. We can ignore this at the time. Select OK. Select Ctrl S, close this one, reopen it and check if the extension is loaded via heading over to extensions to the export tab and here we find the next generator. Perfect. Now we can prepare our SVG file for that. I create a new text object and create a new and write into it percent var underscore then I'm taking a keyword from our CSV file. I select the title. So I write title and in the end I write percent. 
this one has to be the exact same, this one also in the end, and in the middle there has to be a keyword from your CSV file, exact same. So now you can also change the font and adjust it to your needs and make it sure to create a text box by dragging out a text box. This text box has to be very wide. I recommend you to make it bigger than you need. You can move the text box here by selecting the select and transform objects tool and just move it wherever you want. Here in my case the title is now fine and in the next step I need my name and company here. Remember if I reopen up the modified tab in LibreOffice we see our merged name column. So to make my life easier, I just copy that one, adjust the keyword and adjust the font. In the end, I'm copying this one, duplicating it. In my case, I also want to readjust the font and type in my third keyword. Perfect. This now looks fine for our example. I hit Ctrl S to save everything and head over to extensions, export, next generator, open the CSV file path, select my CSV file here, the modified one, non-text values to replace. We don't want this in this case because we only have text values here. You can of course advance it if you want, but I leave it as a generic example. Here we can define the output options. You can select between different output options for fast processing, SVG is recommended. And after the automatic generation, you can adjust the generated SVG files and then mass convert them, for example, to PNG. I'm going with this one. Now we can insert a file name pattern, which of course has to be unique. In my case it will be the title. So I change the file name pattern to title and now we can also select a directory where these ones gonna saved. I select my pictures folder here, create a new folder in there and select this one. Perfect. I now click on apply. This already happens. This is very fast. So I head over to Jean, pictures, thumbnails, and here we have our different SVG files. And if I open one up with Inkscape, you see the result. Now you can adjust if you want every single image to your needs. For example, this one looks better to me. Save this one, close it, and if you want, check every file. For mass, conversion of these files, let's write us a fast bash script. I create a new bash script called process.sh, open it up with a text editor and start by creating a new directory calling exported. Now I iterate through every file which has the ending .svg and I'm calling inkscape export dash file name is in our exported folder with our original file name but with PNG and we want to process the file we just found. And in the end we have to write done to complete our for loop. This is fine. I put you the code into the video description. Let us open up a terminal and run it with the command bash process.sh. This is doing everything and in the end we have a PNG file generated to upload, for example, to YouTube or other platforms. You can ignore the .svg in the file name. It is not longer present anymore. So that was it for today. If this video helped you, please leave a like and subscribe to this YouTube channel and see you at the next time. Bye.